down there. All the way four feet lower than my butt is. I don't look down there. Let them think that I'm precariously high in the air. All right, beautiful people. My name is Justin Taylor. You're at Firestorm Free Running and Acrobatics. Today for our tutorial, we are going to learn the lazy flyaway. It's kind of like this guy, the sitting flyaway. In fact, why don't we just do both since one leads into the other? A sitting flyaway. It's the cheater flyaway. It's like sitting on a bar, doing half of a skin the cat and landing on the ground. It looks a little like this. I grab the bar, I scoot back till it catches my knees, Whee! and I come on down to the ground, super dope like, that was, that was, I did look super dope, right? Okay, thanks guys, really, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exaggerated head nod five seconds later, I see how it is. All right guys, so the sitting flyaway is a cool little move because it is really easy, sometimes it's a little scary if you've never done it before, um, but basically, it's sitting, falling backwards, tucking, and landing on the ground, and doing your cheater flyaway. Yay! What we're gonna be working towards is what's called the lazy flyaway. And the lazy flyaway looks a little like this. It is an aborted lazy vault where I then catch and do the second half of that trick. I come right here, I grab the bar, I swing that inside leg for that lazy. Anyway, I come here, catch! Fly away. <laughs> Woo! All right, beautiful people, it's time for a 60 second breakdown. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Sparkle, salt? Yeah, good enough. All right, so we're gonna do our sitting flyaway. From here, I'm sitting with the bar directly underneath my butt cheek so I have this nice balance. Hands in an overgrip position, thumbs around or on top. Your personal choice depending, uh, depending on the width and thickness of the bar. What I'm going to do here is I am going to suddenly shift and pop my hips back until the bar catches at the back of my knee. I'm going to pull my heels to my butt and as I fall backwards I'm going to let my knees roll up to my chest to get me into a nice tuck position. Come around and extend my feet down to the ground. If I'm on a higher bar I have time to drop. On a low bar like this I'm too tall so you know there you go. For our other one, our lazy flyaway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing like I'm gonna do a lazy vault. This bar is too high, so as my leg starts to get over, I have to get just my calf over the bar. I'm gonna hook my leg around the bar. Other leg comes over, hooks the same way, hand lands on the other side. Now we're in our falling backwards position from our sitting flyaway, and that'll give us our lazy flyaway. I come here, catch, and there's our lazy flyaway. All right, beautiful people. You'll notice now, unlike our 60 second breakdown, I'm on a bar about nine feet in the air. This one's a little higher, so you can see what a sitting flyaway looks like off of a higher bar. Hey! So what I do is the exact same thing. Remember, hands over the top. If you're on a one inch bar, which is a normal standard, I recommend thumbs around. On a two inch bar like this, I recommend thumbs on top, but it's really up to your personal preference. So. Hands over the top, shoulder width just on the outside of my hands. Again, I'm going to pop that butt back so you'll notice that it's right here behind my kneecaps. I'm gonna tuck the leg in so I'm really gripping that bar to lock myself in. What I am doing now is counterbalancing myself by leaning forward. You don't really wanna do that, although if you're scared with this one, you can totally sit in this position and then slowly fall backwards. Woo! Do a skin the cat where our legs come down extend towards the ground and drop. If you do feel confident, you will not need to lean forward like that. In fact, the cool thing about this one is it produces a lot of momentum with very little work. So what I can do from here is grabbing the bar, shifting the hips back, keeping my chest up and moving my chest back as well. So I'll start to fall down that side and I'm letting my knees come up to my chest to build the momentum as I kick myself in the butt and this bar hits the back of my knees. Whoop. And then I can drop down to the ground. The one thing I want you to be careful of, two things actually. One, letting go of the bar too early. When you let go, you're pretty much gonna stop rotating or it's gonna slow down quite a bit. So we wanna make sure we have enough momentum to keep ourselves rotating so we land on our feet. The other thing is, if you swing around too far from the bar, you'll go forward, you can actually bounce your tailbone on the underside of this bar and it's gonna shoot you forward. So you wanna be careful not to clip your tailbone. Again, I'm just gonna go here, pop my hips back, tuck, 
wait till I'm just past upside down and my head is starting to swing up on this side, I can see the ground, then I just let go and extend my feet towards the ground. Whoop. Yeah! So let's take that one and let's move it over and do a slightly more advanced move, the lazy flyaway. Now, the difference between this one and that one is, that one I can do on any height bar because I'm starting on top of the rail. Obviously, if I'm trying to grab a bar more in the seven foot high range, I cannot lazy vault my leg over this rail. It is just not gonna happen. So this is a trick that you might do on something that's about hip height, up to at the highest, probably shoulder height. Unless, of course, you have hops like Coach Sterling and Coach Braylon, in which case it can be 12 feet in the air and it'll make no difference because you have springs in your legs or something. Probably coilovers. So I'm gonna grab right here, hand in my overgrip position. Thumbs down or on top, it's up to you. On these ones, because I'm gripping and I wanna push and pull myself, it's good to have my thumb wrapped around. If my thumb's on top and I go to push, not gonna work. So in this case, I really recommend thumb down all the way around. What we learned from our Italian job a few weeks ago is I want my foot in line with my hand or just past it. I'm gonna swing this leg. Now as I swing this leg, notice how much higher it is than my hips. I have to jump off my posting leg as I swing this leg using the two of them in unison. I don't recommend driving the knee up instead of the extended foot because you gotta get this foot over the bar. And if my leg is bent, my foot is now lower than it would be if it was straight. So a nice big straight leg is good. This has to go fast. One leg, second leg, I'm gonna swing that leg. It comes up and over the bar. My jumping leg, that posting leg comes and follows. As soon as they get over the bar, I'm gonna bend those legs at the knees, hooking them around the bar. And then my other hand out here, once this leg is here, other leg comes in, this hand will grab the outside. And now I'm just falling backwards into my sitting flyaway. All right. The difference is I'm already upside down. It's much faster. I gotta get those legs, all right? So I'm gonna go here, swing my legs. One, two, hook. Lazy fly away. <laughs> all right, guys, the hardest part for most people is committing to getting both legs over. I see a lot of people when they do this, they get one leg and then they grab the arm because it's a little scary. From here, it's a little hard to do the fly away. You can see that arm's in the way. And if I let go, I go sideways. So this one does take a bit of commitment. Now, if this is really scary for you, which is understandable, then what I do is I recommend, come on over here with me, we grab a lower bar. Something that you can feel super comfortable that you can get both legs over. Now for me, if I hang straight upside down on this, I will crack the back of my head. So I'm gonna tuck like no one's business. But what I can do here is pretend I'm working on my Italian job. One leg up, other leg over. Now I'm in my sitting position for my pushback sitting flyaway. Whee! Don't break the head, yay! And what I can do is instead of stopping and sitting in the middle, I can just kind of do my lazy where I'm back here. My other leg comes over into that Italian job and I know I'm too far back, I'm gonna fall. And that's when I hook the legs and do the flyaway. You'll notice I'm not gonna do the end portion because I have nowhere to drop, but I just want you guys to be able to see what it looks like. I can come here, swing the leg, keeping the butt behind me this way. So it creates the swing momentum and the weight to do that flyaway. I go here, boop. Ugh. I wish I had some cool aviator glasses to look like a boss like Coach Haku last week. but. This, you guys, is how you do your lazy flyaway and your sitting flyaway, all right? Make sure when you do these, start low, build up. If you start your first sitting flyaway from high up in the air and you have more power than you expected, you don't want to over-rotate and land on your back. Maybe you do, but probably not. So I recommend going into a gym, learning it over a foam pit or with a mat, if you have somewhere outdoor, try to get somewhere with grass underneath your bar or maybe sand, you know, nature's foam pit and work on these things. Make sure you try them from both sides of your body. I don't just start with my left hand. I bring this guy, catch, ho, and that. One thing I do want to point out that's kind of cool is if you try to bring both legs down to the ground, okay, let's pretend I'm trying to grab right here, right? Eh, and I have both legs down. It's really hard for me from this position to stand up, but you'll notice even though this bar is way too low for me, 
If I treat it almost like I'm striding one foot then the other foot, I can put one foot down, swing and use the momentum to bring my other foot further in front of me like a big step and that allows even a large person like me on a tiny low rail like this to be able to come in and get myself back up like it looks like I know what I'm doing. And that is always the goal, to look like you know what you're doing. Although it's probably good if you do actually know what you're doing. So guys, this has been our sitting flyaway and our lazy flyaway uh, to go with your flyaway that you learned. Oh my God, it's in my eyes. Oh my God, ah! I need a beanie or a haircut, preferably the former. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share, all those different things. Uh, I used, I think the last few weeks I used all of them. I used like hair, care, and bear. I don't know. Or your face I'm going to tear because I'm a monster. Yeah. That was horrible. I hate myself a little bit now. Okay, guys, short version. Leave me a comment. Let me know what type of skills you want to learn. Send them in and I will demonstrate and then teach them for you. Someone's gonna send in triple folds just to be a jerk and I'm gonna have to relearn my triple folds and that's gonna be funny. All right guys, let me know what you wanna learn. I'll do my best to help you out. I love your beautiful faces. I look forward to hearing from all of you, all three and a half of you and you're walking really creepily towards me and fly away, baby!